let x1, x2 and so on up to xn be n observations and let x bar be their arithmetic mean and sigma square be the variance. Now the statement one says that the variance of 2x1, 2x2 up to 2xn is given four times the initial variance and their arithmetic mean that is arithmetic mean of 2x1, 2x2 up to 2xn is 4x bar that is four times initial mean. So we need to check whether the statement one is true, statement two is true and rest of the things. So let's do this question over the whiteboard. The given observations are x1, x2 and so on up to xn. Therefore, x bar is equals to x1 plus x2 plus so on up to xn whole divided by n and variance in this case is given as 1 over n x1 square plus x2 square and so on plus xn square minus x bar whole square or we can say in place of x bar we can write it as this also that x1 plus x2 till xn whole divided by n whole square now if we have new observations as two x one, two x two, and so on up to two x n, so the new mean, that is x one bar, will be equals to two x one plus two x two, and so on till twice of x n divided by n as we can set as we can easily see that 2 is present in all the terms so we can take out 2 common from the numerator so we are getting x1 plus x2 till xn and the whole thing divided by n and we know that this expression is nothing but x bar so it is twice of x bar therefore the statement 2 is not correct because the statement 2 is saying that the new mean will be equals to 4 times x bar and here we are getting 2 times x bar therefore statement 2 should not be correct now we need to check for statement 1 we need to find the new variance let us name this as this and that will be equals to 1 upon n 2x1 whole square plus 2x2 whole square and so on up to 2xn whole square minus 2x1 plus 2x2 so on till 2xn divided by n whole square. Now if we simplify it we get 1 over n 4x1 square plus 4x2 square and so on 4xn square minus. We can take out 2 common from the numerator so we will be getting twice of x1 plus x2 so on xn divided by n whole square so from here we can take out 4 from the numerator as common so we are left with 1 over n x1 square plus x2 square plus xn square 
minus. Now as square is there, so two will come out as two square. That is four times x one plus x two plus x n over n whole square. So what we can do? We can take out four as common. So we will be getting the new variance is four times one by n x one square x two square up to x n square minus x one plus x two and so on up to x n divided by n and which is nothing but the initial variance. Therefore, the statement one is correct. Because it is saying the new variance will be four times the initial variance, and we have proved this. Therefore, the correct answer should be statement one is true, and statement two is false. So let's see which is the correct option. It is the D option, which is correct. It says that statement one is true, and statement two is false.